Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be giving you five pro tips for survival in Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. Of course, these will work for any platform, but I mainly focus my channel on those, and that's why I say that. So, with that said, you might be wondering, why did you just come out black one legged Steve's leg uh, at the start of this video, Toycat? And basically, I figured uh, I have this massive creative world that I use for so many different things, whether it be pixel art showcases, that sort of stuff, whether it be tutorials on various things like one way doors and then uh, efficiency five shears, or whether it be you know, just uh, random fun facts in Minecraft, like all these villages that are stuck between loads of cobblestone walls. Where it be all this sort of stuff, I just have one world for it all. And I figure, so you guys can kind of get a better idea of the development on the whole thing, I just have a base of operations, because I don't really have a place to call home right now. And so I was looking around and I was like, where should I call home? And I figure the, 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 the thing that encapsulates the idea of, you know, my world and stuff, the best is, uh, you know, Black One Legged Steve. Why does he only have one leg? I don't know. Why is his smiley face at the bottom of his mouth and he has see-through eyes? I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just, it just fits uh, the toy cat kind of theme the best. So, as you can see inside, just to give you the, gui uh, the guided tour, there is a, uh, a bed over here. You can sleep in it. It's pretty good at that. There's a torch on the wall. Uh, it provides light. And there's all this space for activities. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what this uh, Black One Legacy has to offer. And that's why I'm using it as my permanent base. We'll get more into that later. But first of all, let's get into our first pro tip for survival. And that is uh, actually to do with creepers. So, creepers are one of the most dangerous mobs in the game. Uh, even on easy mode, which I'm on right now. As you can see, if they blow up next to you, they can do like uh, eight and a half. Half uh, hearts damage somewhere in that range, and uh, they can even kill you if you get close enough on normal or hard, with, even if you have armor on. So. This is a pro tip to help you take next to no damage from them if they're too close to you. So if you see there's a creeper too close to you, what you need to do is quickly place a dirt block. Because as you just saw there, that uh, the dirt block, because of the way explosions work in Minecraft, will actually absorb most of the damage. So quickly place it, and uh, as you can see there, only half a half damage. Even if the creeper's right next to you and there's only a dirt block half a block away from you, uh, it will still save you from the creeper. So just quickly, okay, as you can see, <laughs> I'm literally right next to the creeper and it does half a half. That's because the dirt block just absorbs all of it in one thing, and it's crazy that it does that but it is a uh, quite useful pro tip so this will save your life more than once and it's kind of a last resort but if you have any block on you whether it be cobblestone whether it be glass even like even the most destructive blocks will all just absorb the damage and save you quite a lot of pain so that's my first pro tip and uh, to create a lot of creeper holes so they're gonna be fun to fill up later <laughs> and uh, with that said let's move on to our second pro tip for survival and that is involving saving your enchanted stuff so uh, basically if you don't know uh, you can actually switch uh, what you're mining something with at the last second and it will move to the second block. So as you can see here, I've got two pickaxes, um, one with efficiency on it and one with, uh, you know, no efficiency. And uh, this only is really most effective with uh, obsidian. It works every other block, but it's easiest to show you with obsidian because basically you can mine at four times the speed or 200% of the speed and then quickly switch out to uh, the other pickaxe at the last second and it will essentially save your efficiency pickaxe till, uh, you know, like you don't have to use any of its durability, but you can get all of the speed benefits. So if you want to save this efficiency pickaxe for other things, you want to make sure you're not using it. As you can see here, I'm just not using it, but I'm still getting like 200% speed outfit. So, uh, yeah, that's a pro... Oh, get away, slime. <laughs> that's a pro tip that you can do uh, while using uh, two separate pickaxes. It's even more handy if you, like, had unbreaking um, on this packet pickaxe, efficiency on this, and you didn't want to do it that way, and it's a good way to save durability. You might think, oh, well, diamond tools last forever anyway, but they, in reality, only have, like, 1,600 uses. Might as well make sure that you get an extra little bit of uh, use out of that. So, uh, yeah, that's my first pro tip to do with enchantments. And, uh, that reminds me of my second pro tip to do enchantments, which I'm actually going to have to go up through uh, Black Steve to show you. So, uh, <laughs> uh, basically, uh, yeah, this is the inside. You climb up through the leg uh, into the torso, uh, which is just over here. There's an Enderman and two Creepers in there, actually. So maybe maybe we don't go through here. But, <laughs> okay, let's, let's actually fly through the outside, because I don't really like that. So you go through the torso, you end up in the shoulder, and then through the head here is the second part of the house. As you can see, uh, even more room to do stuff in. And uh, I'm going to use the enchantment table, and I'm going to show you my third pro tip. So basically, a lot a lot of people, when they have like five, six levels, something like that, whether it be Hunger Games or Survival, they'll decide, I'm going to put this all on my helmet and just get the best thing I can. So like six levels on the helmet, for instance. And as you can see, although, you know, here I got a reasonably good, uh, you know, thing, like Projectile Protection 2, not too bad, Respiration 1, uh, a lot of the time you'll end up with the same enchantment you'll get at level 1. And in addition to that, if you have lots of stuff that you can enchant, so let's actually quickly give myself some levels. If you have lots of uh, uh, like different stuff you could enchant, uh, so this is a level five enchantment or a six enchantment by itself. Here's what you can get if you just go level one enchantments, because level one enchantments, uh, there's always like a, a lowest level you can get from them, so you're always going to get protection one or projectile protection one or stuff like that. And uh, if it's a you know sword, you'll get sharpness, etc. And as you can see here, instead of getting 
it, with with this helmet, I got projectile protection two and respiration one, which you know that means I'm a little bit better protected against arrows and stuff. Uh, with this, doing this instead, not only did I save enchantment costs because this is four levels in total as opposed to six here, uh, I also got a lot better protected against everything, not just projectiles. So yeah, hedging your bets is a very good way to do enchantments. Like it's literally better, and it's also you know a smart thing to do in terms of like not putting all your eggs in one basket. So uh, in addition to that, with the extra two levels I saved, I can enchant my bow, get power one on that so an extra few hearts of damage and I can also enchant a sword and get a few low, uh, like sharpness one or smite one in this case and get some extra damage there so it's crazy the stuff you can do uh, by just splitting your enchantments so unless you're going for a level 20 or 30 enchantment always go for level 1 enchantments because as you can see all of this all of this stuff here is a lot better than this one thing here <laughs> and as I'm sure you can imagine so uh, yeah that's survival pro tip number 3 survival pro tip number 4 uh, actually relates to if you're up somewhere really high and you're building so you know I'm building a little dirt thing up here on the top of uh, Black Steve's head, and uh, then you're like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm not sure I... Uh I'm not sure I'm really enjoying that. And you're like, okay, I'm going to go crouch and I'm going to go over here. And uh, then what happens is a skeleton comes up to you. He knocks you off. Or if you're just, you know, you're not in crouch mode and you don't think there's something back here. And you're like, wait a minute, I can just go back here. And you realize, wait a minute, I'm falling. So you need to quickly switch to your ender pearl. <laughs> Apparently mess up like me. But you need to quickly switch to your ender pearl. I'm going to show you this properly, apparently. It's very hard to do from a small fool, but the larger the fool, the easier it is to do. You need to have an ender pearl in your inventory, and then quickly switch to it like so. And then just before you hit the floor, uh, you fire it like that, and it will save your life. Of course, I took a lot of damage there, but it's not quite dying, is it? So, <laughs> hopefully the dying doesn't put you off this one. Always have an ender pearl on your hotbar. If you're anywhere high up, the higher up you are, the easier it will be to save yourself. Uh, and just make sure you time it right, because if you don't time it right, you go splat like I did right there. And it, it makes you look uh, you know, kind of bad. So, uh, that's my pro tip number four. Let's move on to number five, which is actually going to me moving to a different world so uh, for now we're gonna have to quickly say goodbye to this world and say hello to another world okay so as some of you might notice we're in my let's play world for this fifth and final tip which is actually a very good way to get both experience and nether quartz if you want to use it for building because nether quartz is quite a rare ingredient like it's really common in the nether but once you mine the obvious sources you have to go up to the ceiling to get some like up there uh, like uh, up over over there in the ceiling you can see some just in the distance over there and uh, that can be really, really difficult at times. And if you just want to get Never Quartz, like to build something massive out of it, it can be really difficult to do it that way. So, how, uh, uh, like, a pro tip to help you avoid that is to use a setting that, you know, a lot of people might skip over or might not realize you can use for this purpose. And that is the reset Never, never function. So, first thing you want to do is quickly leave your Never, because if you don't, it will respawn you at your latest bed. But we want to go straight back in as soon as we're done. So, leave the Never and stand right outside your portal. And uh, as you can see here, it's raining, but we'll just leave the game. And now once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, game settings. So we'll just wait for it to exit. And uh, in the game settings just here, you can see there is this uh, magical reset never option just over here. And what this, uh, so it's meant for if uh, where nether fortresses aren't present in your old world or if you've run out of stuff. So because there is a limited amount of glowstone and there is a limited amount of nether quartz, which, you know, isn't like PC where it's infinite, they figure, and, and instead of just giving you a very limited amount, which is, you know, kind of unfair, they give the reset never, never option. And what this does is it completely clears everything in your nether. If you've built something massive in your nether, don't do this, of course, because it will disappear. And it resets it back to where it should be if it generated with the latest update. So um, that means if you generate, uh, regenerate your never after the next update comes out you'll be able to get chests and stuff but it also means if you regenerate right now then all of the never quartz you've mined will respawn and you can mine it again so instead of having to go all up on the ceiling over there i can get some uh, never quartz right next to my portal and yeah never quartz is one of the best sources of experience uh, as you can see here i'm uh, leveling up crazy even though i'm like level like 19 already and this is just one patch i've just got two levels from that and i also got never quartz which is one of the best looking ingredients so uh yeah this is a really handy tip both to do that and also if you want to get glowstone so like that little easy part up there if you want to get some glowstone from anywhere it's also a very handy way to get that um one final lesser known thing is you can actually use it to mine blaze spawners as well. It's uh, you, it's a you know, kind of a cheap way to do it. I'd say it's almost on the verge of cheating, but it is a way to you know just uh, mine the portals, get a free bit of XP, and then move on. Uh, mainly though, I do use it to uh, actually get never quartz. So as you can see here, getting never quartz and also getting a lot of experience. So yeah, this is one of the best ways to get XP with, and it's not cheating because the reset never option is there because we don't have infinite nevers, so we kind of just get an infinite number of the same nevers. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video, giving you. 
five pro tips for survival in Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. If you did, please do like the video and let me know. It would be very much appreciated. Um, let me know which of these uh, helped you out the most. Let me know which ones you did know, which ones you didn't know, because I get curious about this sort of stuff in the comments down below. And uh, if you feel like being that guy that's like, well, I knew all five, then you can do that too if you really want. Uh, other than that, share the video if you really liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.